Alright, hi guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Miner channel today. And today I am going to go over how to mine Raven Coin Light and Zillica at the same time. And specifically, I want to go over this because I have gone over this uh, Zill Switcher before, but everybody's mining Raven Coin Light, and uh, as a lot of the old older YouTubers and OG YouTubers have uh, mentioned, you got to be really careful about this, and so I specifically would like to mine Zillica and Raven Coin Light in case Raven Coin Light goes to nothing. At least I have some Zillica and my uh, purse is diversified and hopefully not multiple crypto multiple cryptocurrencies go to uh, get a rug pull or something like that. So again I just want to hedge my uh, wallet against any kind of issues such as Raven Coin Light just getting a rug pull or having it just get shut down or something happened or there's been a lot of cryptocurrencies in the past that have popped up like this and they've just disappeared so again uh, without any further let's get into this let's mine some Zillica and Raven coin light together so the first thing you're gonna need to do I will link this page you're gonna need to come over here to this Zill switcher page and this will help you set it up you're also gonna need to download Zill switcher here so I'm gonna right click on that and we're gonna click download we're going to do the standard download right there, and we'll let that start going. We're going to come over. Oh boy. Got some lag here. Hold on. Okay, now we're going to come over. We're going to select that folder. We're going to download it into there. And then we also need to download Phoenix Miner. So, let's grab... We're going to come over here to Phoenix Miner Downloads. We're going to grab Phoenix Miner Windows 5.6. And we'll put that in the desktop as well right there. Okay. So now we're saving that. We're going to need one more thing. The most current version. Or not most current. I'm sorry. You're going to need an older version of T-Rex Miner. Because Ravencoin Lite runs X16R algorithm which is Ravencoin's old algorithm, and it was removed from T-Rex in the new versions. So, we're going to grab T-Rex Miner here, uh, version 19, and here's the one for Windows. I'm going to click the CUDA 11 one, and we're going to download that to the same folder as well. So, I've got all, these, all three of these things downloading now. This is um, one ducking miners video. He's actually the one that helped me set up my Raven Coin Light video. And in this video that I'm doing today, you're gonna see me refer to this text right here to get my Raven Coin Light wallet set up and everything else and get it all mining. So I'm not gonna go through the Raven Coin Light part of this setup. If you guys would like to, you can go see Chump Changes videos or one ducking miner here. I'll leave a link. Oh. Or a couple of other YouTubers now have actually uh, created some videos. So I'm going to let this finish downloading and then we'll come back and we'll do some extracting and we'll get it all set up. Alright guys, so I got everything downloaded. I did have to come in here to my Brave browser and tell it to keep this Phoenix Miner file because it didn't like it. I thought it was a virus. It is not a virus. I did grab it, the link from ethermine.org and downloaded it. So now I have T-Rex. I have Zill Switcher and I have Phoenix Miner all in one folder. I'm going to create another new folder. Okay, and we're going to call this one Zill Switcher. Got it. And now I'm going to open this guy. And we are going to extract all this. Right there. And it popped up down here. And where do we want to extract it to? Desktop, Zillica, Raven, Quinn, Light. Yes, that's correct. Except I also... Um, I want to put it into here. And then we're going to go into Zill Switcher like that. There we go. So now extract all that. Okay, so that was Phoenix Miner. T-Rex Miner. We're going to extract all. And the same thing. We're going to browse. Here's my browsing window. We're going to browse. We're going to go to desktop, Raven Coin Light, Zill Switcher, extract. All right. Now that's extracting. And let's go back. 
and now we're going to actually extract a zil switcher. So zil switcher, I hit extract, it popped up down here. We're going to go to browse, desktop, zilica, zil switcher. Select, extract. Okay, and now we can close a lot of that stuff. All right. Now I've got my folder on my desktop here. Here's the Zill Switcher folder that we opened up. All right. And then here's the video I just recorded. But right before this, here's my zipped files. Here's my thumbnail for this that it's going to be put on when I'm done. All right. So now let's get into Zill Switcher here. The first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm actually going to need to remove Phoenix Miner from its file. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go cut. I'm going to go back. And we're going to paste it into here. So now all of my files, my Zill Switcher, my Phoenix Miner, and my T-Rex Miner are all in one place. That's perfect. Okay. Now I can delete this file that's empty now. All right? Okay. So let's delete that guy. We're gone. Everything's in one file now. And I can actually start modifying my, my bat file to mine Raven. So let's choose one of these. I'm going to rename ethproxy here. We're going to name it Raven L. All right. For Raven Coin Lite, we're going to hit edit. Yes, I'm going to allow it any run anyways. We're going to open that up. I'm going to select everything in this file. I'm going to delete it just like that. Now we're going to come back over to One Ducking Miners videos. Okay, and we're going to copy this just like I said. Copy that. And we're going to come back over to my file. We're going to hit paste. And we're going to save that. Alright, now one more thing I left in this file. Right here is my Zill and my Raven addresses. So I already set up the wallet. I'm not going to show that today. That's not the purpose. We're just going to get this miner set up. Alright, so Raven Light right here. All I need to do is change my wallet. Okay, so there's my wallet address. And I am actually going to rename my worker right here. Not YouTube, but we're going to name it 3060. Okay. And then remove this pause. We don't need that. Save. All right. So now I have this file. If I double click it, it pops up down on my other window. Let me drag it up here for you guys to see it. And it should start mining. Yes, it does. It works. We are pushing 24.41 mega hash right now, even with me recording. So that is now working. Now we need to set up Zill Switcher. So if I double click Zill Switcher right here, yes, I want to run it anyways. It pops up this window and it'll tell you all these different miners that you can choose from. Today we are using T-Rex. So we're going to find T-Rex in the list here. T-Rex number 17 right there. Okay, so that's all I need out of this is number 17. I'm going to now close that, and we're going to come back over to the Zill Switcher website. Alright. Right here. So now I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and it shows all my numbered miners and everything. It shows command lines. And the first thing that I want to copy is right here. So these examples, example one, will help me get me, help get me started. So I'm going to copy that guy right there. Okay, and I'll, I'll leave this down below too so you don't have to find exactly which one to copy. Now we're going to create a new bat file. So you can either redo one of these, and that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to go zill starter L for Raven Coin Light. I'm going to go edit now, and we're going to erase all of that. And we're going to paste in the thing I copied from zill switcher now. So now it says zillswitcher.exe miner 1. No, I'm going to put 17 for uh, T Rex miner like we talked about. And then R, I'm going to leave this alone for now. I might need to change it. And I need to go grab my zill address again. So let's come back into here. Grab my zill address now. It needs to start with zil. 
I went over this in one of my previous videos. There are a couple wallets that will give you uh, an address with ZIL like Coinbase and Zelcor will both give you correct wallet addresses like this. So now we're back into Zill Starter. Let me remove the 0x address. That is the Zill address. And there we go. I put my own Zill address in there. And there we go. So now this is the only last thing I got to modify is miner.bat and we're going to go rvn-l and what that is is this is the what I named that other file before. So when we come over here, I go into desktop, go here, and I go into Zill Switcher, whatever I named my file in the beginning, Raven Light, that's what needs to go in there. So now I have Raven Light, I have my miner selected and I have my address in here. Let's close this and save it. Zillstarter.l, if I double click that now, this is what it pulls up. It pulls up this, and it also pulls up this. So now it automatically started mining. It is mining Raven Light, and it is also looking for Phoenix Miner. It found Phoenix Miner in the directory because I already used that, and so what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop up a little timer here, and it's gonna keep checking for the Zill round. And when Zill Round pops up, it will shut down T-Rex Miner, it will open up Phoenix Miner, it will put in your Zill address, and it will start mining Zillica for the about one minute every hour to two hours, and it will start mining Zillica. Now, Zillica has been around a lot longer than Ravencoin Lite. It is also the original player for sharding and a couple of other things. They are not uh, noobs in the space like Ravencoin Lite, which is again why I like to mine Zillica. It's kind of a cryptocurrency that's been around for a long time. It's got a lot of cool stuff, but it's not very well adopted yet. And so I believe that it will pop. This is not financial advice, but this is a good way to hedge yourself again against just mining Ravencoin Lite. And if anything happens, you lost all that time. Whereas if you're mining Ravencoin Lite and Zillica together, it is less likely that both projects will blow up or go away and you'll lose all of your coins. So again, this is a great way to hedge yourself against it. While I was talking, you can now see that it says seconds till proof of work, 1,804 seconds, and it'll keep checking back. It's going to sleep for four minutes and check back. So this is a really cool setup. Um, I will play a video, I think I already did, in the beginning of this showing the switch. It's very seamless. It's easy. Uh, what you saw here is all it takes to set it up, and you're off to the races. And again, you can use this with not just Raven Coin Lite. But anything, any coin, any miner pretty much that you're mining within Windows, you can set this up. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you could like, comment, subscribe, and share this with some friends. Um, let them know that, hey, it's not that hard to mine you know, Zillica and Ravencoin Lite at the same time and at least hedge yourself against something happening. So you guys have a great day. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.